guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to be showing you what I am putting into my children's Christmas Eve box All right, if you're new here, I'm Claire. My channel is all about mom stuff, lady stuff, and life stuff. And right now, a whole lot of Christmas stuff. I am doing the 12 days of Vlogmas. I can't even remember what day this is, but we're getting pretty close. So I thought I would share with you guys everything I am putting in my Christmas Eve box, just in case you might need some last minute ideas of some stuff uh, for your own kids. I have two sons, Fox who is three, and Desmond who is 18 months old. Uh, so these uh, things are probably for like a younger, toddlery type age of child. Um, but here, is the Christmas Eve box. I actually made a video um, on how I made it. Uh, I kind of just winged it, but I think it turned out really, really cool. It says the Risper Family Christmas Eve box on it in Scrabble tiles. I'm pretty into it, so I will leave a link to this video down below. Um, but now I'm just gonna show you kind of what we've done to fill it. Um, I didn't go like super crazy, so if you're like hoping that I will be like pulling out some wild expensive things you're wrong all right the first thing that I have in their Christmas Eve boxes are these ornaments you may have seen these in a Dollar Tree slash um, Target haul I did these are from Dollar Tree they were a dollar each I got them a while ago I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with them whether um, maybe cupcake our elf on the shelf might like to give them as a treat or whatever um, but actually Christmas Eve this year my husband and I are both working in the morning uh, so the boys will be with their grandma and papa which they love and I thought this might be a really great thing for them to take over there in the morning uh, that way they can decorate some ornaments hang them on the tree it'll just be like a nice activity the second thing I got is also from that same Dollar Tree haul and this is some bubble bath and it's Paw Patrol bubble bath so of course it's going to be a winner with my three year old um, but I just thought this might be a way to make bath time on Christmas Eve like a little bit exciting and fun so some bubble bath. Next I actually got each of them these darling slippers, they're like old man slippers. I'm pretty sure I picked these up at Walmart I want to say, I've had them for a little while. Um, they were like probably five dollars or less each they weren't super expensive but I thought how cute to have like some little snuggly slippers and inside I don't know if you can see I have filled all of their slippers with chocolate gold coins because um, there's not a whole lot to eat in this bin but I wanted to make sure there were at least a couple nice little treats for both of them next we have some chocolate Santas these I picked up at Target in the dollar spot um, I had them for uh, Cupcake the Elf to give, also in the advent calendar, and we just never broke into this one, so throwing it in the Christmas Eve box for a nice little treat for them uh, to enjoy. The other little thing I have in their Christmas Eve box are these little uh, mice. I gotta cut the tag off this one. These are from Ikea. I don't know if you guys ever go to Ikea, but they often have like um, these little bins of stuffed animals that are like a dollar. Uh, so I got them each just a little mouse. I don't know, they probably won't get it, but it's kind of like in homage to the Nutcracker, you know, the Mouse King. So I had to throw those in. Next, I got them each a candy cane. They are only three and 18 months old, so there's no need to really go overboard with the candy canes. One each is plenty. Next is something I also picked up in the dollar spot at Target, which is amazing. I think this one, this one was $3. And it is, um, it's called lacing shapes, but uh, when we were little they were called like a sew board or whatever. Um, and basically it comes with like laces and each of these is like a different Christmassy pattern um, that has all of these right here. And it's really, really good for your children's fine motor skills to go in and out of these holes keeps them entertained and yeah this is like a great activity and we will definitely probably keep out even after Christmas is over. Next is something I picked up at Dollar Tree. These are just uh, little toy ninjas that have little like rubbery like spongy grippy hands so like these probably won't last a super long time but at least enough time for my three-year-old to throw them against a wall have them stick there a few times and eventually get bored of it. But for a dollar, I didn't think it was a bad deal for a little bit of entertainment on uh, Christmas Eve. Next, I've gotten my children each a book. I actually picked these books up 
clearance last year after Christmas and I plan on doing the same uh, this year so that is a really good hack you guys for your Christmas Eve boxes even if you have everything you need make a list of what your kids loved this year things you can buy right now the day after Christmas the week after Christmas I think I only paid like a dollar for each of these books because uh, they were just completely clearanced out at the end of the season last year and I just put them in a bag in anticipation for this moment and it saved me a ton of money so for Fox we have I've seen Santa and you know just like classically cute little Christmas bear book and for Desmond this one is called Little Santa and it's like the story of Santa when he was a little kid which I think is like hilarious so probably since my boys age difference isn't that huge they both will enjoy reading these books and at this point we actually read most of our books together anyway so they both will enjoy these but it is a nice tradition I want to start um, always having a book in the Christmas Eve box for the boys and the last little thing that's in our box I also picked this up at Target it's this little like wooden gingerbread house and all these like little uh, wooden figures there's a gingerbread man and a deer a snowman a penguin another deer and a skiing Santa so they can sort of like play house both of my children are very into like dolls action figures role-playing hi my name is so-and-so what's your name like they will do that for ages so when I saw this I knew this was like a real easy way to like make it Christmas themed and also this is a good one that we'll be able to pack away and get out next year and my kids will probably still enjoy playing with it next year so uh, yeah so that's all I put in my nice little box for Christmas Eve I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it's kind of short and sweet this time but man it is hard pumping out these videos 12 in a row I already missed one day I'm trying so hard not to miss another one but oh my gosh I'm like really busy at work and it's just such a crazy time of year I promise you I will not ever do vlogmas again no it's like triggered my anxiety so um, I'm doing my best here to give you guys some great content I hope you have a wonderful Christmas hopefully I will catch you guys tomorrow with another video uh, yeah so hit that subscribe button stick around and I'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> bye